Hi, I'm Johnny with your latest music news. First up, Jason Derulo celebrating today after getting his first UK number one. His new single, In My Head, came out at the top of the charts, bumping Dizzy and Florence from the number one spot. It's two places higher than his last effort, What You Say, which came in at number three. He's actually sat behind me ready to tell you a bit about it. Hang on, I'll get out of the way. It's, it's a fun track, you know, I got a chance to, you know, dance in the video and, you know, it's, it's really, really fun to, to perform as well. Um, but this song is about my imagination. Basically, <clears throat> everybody has a fantasy, but, um, you know, I think mine is, is pr pretty vivid. Uh, so I, I wanted to talk about, like, you know, when I meet a girl for the first time, um, you know, a lot, a lot of fantasies go through my head and uh, it's basically an invitation to my imagination. Thanks, Jason. We'll have more from him during the week. Next, now February is out of the way, the cold is showing the first signs of thawing and people are turning their minds to the summer festivals. One of the biggest this year is set to be Tea in the Park with Eminem and Muse headlining the event, which will also play host to Biffy Clyro, Florence and the Machine and Jay-Z. So if you fancy joining in the fun between the 9th and 11th of July this year, you can't. Yep, tickets sold out in just 90 minutes, showing the high levels of hype for the event. Meanwhile, hard up Glastonbury goers can breathe easy for a little while. The deadline for full payment should have been midnight last night, but the benevolent organisers have extended that deadline by 48 hours. Punters now have until the end of tomorrow to pay off their tickets, or they'll be sending the boys from Worthy Farm round. And finally, love them or hate them, there's no denying you 2 are a successful band. In fact, according to reports, they were the highest earning act in the US last year, taking a whopping $109 million. Coldplay, meanwhile, were the highest earning Brits, raking in 23.7 million quid. Talking of Coldplay, they're hoping to have their fifth studio album on shelves by the end of the year, and Brian Eno has confirmed he'll be returning to produce the record. Brian produced their last effort, Viva La Vida, and apparently he again plans to isolate Chris Martin from the rest of the band to allow them to explore other avenues of creativity. I'd stick Chris in solitary confinement too, Brian. Anyway, that's all from me for now. More music news tomorrow.